contracts are promises that courts will enforce. Promises are often seen as primarily moral obligations. So when would we need a court to legally enforce them? Let's take a closer look at what purpose contracts serve and why society needs them. Contracts are a substitute for trust. When two people trust each other, they enter into all sorts of promises without each other expecting that they're going to sue if things go badly. If I say to my wife, I promise to pick you up after work today, and I don't get there, she's probably not going to sue me for it. But there probably will be repercussions. Or if you promise people in your town that you'll paint someone's house in return for some amount of money, and you do it badly or don't do it at all, it's unlikely for people to continue hiring you in that town. In both of these cases, there's some type of reputational effect that can be used to ensure that people do what they say. There may also be a moral dimension. Trustworthiness is a recognized virtue, and a person's word is his or her bond. It's not necessary for a court to enforce ethical or moral promises because people perform them out of a sense of shame and obligation anyway. So when do we need courts to enforce promises? The courts are only needed to enforce the type of transactions that wouldn't occur otherwise. Not everyone in society trusts each other. In fact, most people in this big world of ours don't even know each other. People on opposite sides of the world have no basis for thinking that someone else will keep their promises to ship them some good or perform some service. If not for contracts, it would be impossible to hire a programmer in Bangalore to write a piece of code and keep your intellectual property secret and confidential. So contracts are a way of broadening our world and creating a new range of possibilities for contractual counterparties. Transactions between distant counterparties are the main focus of contract law. For that matter, contract law even contemplates agreements between non-persons like corporations. The law provides a substitute, not a perfect substitute, but a partial substitute for trust. You can get involved in a relationship with a person knowing that if they don't do what they say, you at least have some recourse in a court of law to get the value out of that deal. And that means you might be more willing to make transactions with more people, namely people with whom you would have no other basis for trusting.